Hey guys, I'm Kaldor and I've been a professional esports commentator and streamer for nearly 20 years now. And today I'm going to introduce you to the Loop Deck Live, which is the new power tool for streamers and content creators. The Loop Deck Live is the little brother of the Loop Deck CT. And if you're familiar with the Loop Deck CT, you will feel right at home with this device. It uses the same structure and logic, but where the Loop Deck CT is focused on helping you to enhance your workflows in all kinds of content creation software, the Loop Deck Live is much more heavily focused on trying to help you to improve your live stream experience and also push your live stream production to the next level. It supports all the software that you're already familiar with through live streaming as for example Twitch, Streamlabs and OBS Studio, but also has support for software as Spotify and also Adobe Creative Software. The core element of the Loop Deck Live is the touchscreen. The touchscreen features 12 buttons, but you can also increase the number of buttons by simply adding additional pages that you can swipe through quite easily through the touchpad. You can assign any program, any tool, any kind of action to one of those buttons that you might want to use during your live stream. And it's absolutely incredible to have physical dials for all that functionality where usually you would have to use software on your PC for it. But it's not the only thing that really makes the Loop Deck Live unique. In addition to all that functionality, you also can uh, just group all of these actions into workspaces that are reflected through the round buttons at the bottom of the device. And you don't have to use those buttons only for workspaces, which you uh, could obviously create a multitude from. But you can also assign a specific button to one scene in your streaming setup, for example. Or you can simply use a certain action that you need a lot during your streaming and put them on one of those round buttons, which makes it an incredibly versatile device. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the software that powers the entire device. So as you can see over here, I'm currently in my Streamlabs profile. And over to the top right, you see all the applications that offer native support to the Loop Deck Live, which means that through the API, these softwares offer you specific actions that you can map onto the device itself. But of course, you also can create customized action and you can create macros, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. But let's focus on the Streamlabs options, at least for now. So we're starting all of this up with our round buttons that I mentioned earlier in the video, where we have now four workspaces that we created. And we have, in addition to that, also a couple of actions that we mapped right onto those buttons actions that you need a lot when you're live streaming, like running a commercial, for example, or creating a clip. You can customize not only the round buttons, the same is also true for your touch screen. So we have multiple pages already set up on our first workspace, on the stream workspace here, and we can customize that whatever way we want. We can add an additional page, we can come in with another custom action, come to switch, slow the chat down a little bit, for example, and a simple drag and drop is already gonna do the trick over here. But let's say you want to be a bit more sophisticated with your setups and you want to come in with a macro and you want to show a graphic for just a couple of seconds on stream with a simple press of one button. In that case, we would come in here with the action. We would actually look for the graphic that we want to use that's already in my Streamlabs and simply drag and drop it over. So we would show the Loop Deck logo. We also want to now add a little bit of a delay. Let's say two seconds in our case. Pretty easy. And then we want to make sure that the graphic immediately disappears again. So we come up with the same action button again, have another drag and drop. And this simple macro would now allow us with simply one press of a button to show the Loop Deck logo for two seconds and then it would automatically disappear again. We can give it our own name. We can also create our own icon for the command and edit that to our heart's content. And that would make a pretty simple command appear on your loop deck. But as you can already see here, this is a pretty sophisticated tool that would allow you to create a lot of big macros that make your streaming just so much easier. And you can customize all of this to your heart's content. So it's an incredibly powerful software that allows you to adjust the loop deck live to your individual needs during streams. So when we take a closer look at the Loop Deck Live, you can see here that I have on my first workspace just a couple of basic functionalities for Twitch already set up. I can start my stream, I can record the stream, I have my desktop audio mapped onto one of the dials, I got my microphone right here, and even my Spotify where I can just browse through the tracks real quickly. But if I go into the second page, there's already a lot of scenes predefined that I can simply jump through then. I have my starting scene. I can go straight into also my camera scene. And it also allows me to use the studio mode. So in case that I want to prepare the next scene, I can simply enable that 
can prepare the next scene and then uh, push it live just a second later. So there's a lot of functionality to be used here that you will be familiar with if you're a regular streamer. But there's obviously more to it. If you just look at another workspace, you can see a lot of Twitch chat functionality reflected where I can go into a subscriber mode. I can use some predefined messages to push onto chat, can clear the chat or even just slow it down. So there's a lot of tools where you can set up the entire tool to your personal preferences. What's really cool about the Loop Deck is that it's not only extremely powerful when we're talking about live streaming, but if you record your videos and you're going into post-production, you want to upload some content onto YouTube, for example, you can use it for Premiere and other tools as well. And this is also another region or another area where it really shines. As you can see on my home screen here in my Premiere setup, my Premiere profile, we have a couple of workspaces. And especially within a creative software as Premiere, you can use also those workspaces to structure your work so much more. You have, for example, here a workspace for editing. We have one for color grading and one for audio. And if we just jump into the first one, you can already see that it's like super simple. You have all the functionality here. You can easily go into your cutting options. You have a zoom dial and we could, for example, then also fine tune the selection a little bit, running five frames or running just simply one frame. So all the tools that you can possibly want uh, just at your disposal right away. You don't have to go through any hotkeys here. And then later with the uh, color grading, it's a pretty similar process too. So now once again, you have just dials that correspond to the tools within the software itself. And it's absolutely amazing to have hardware dials that you can use to just fine tune everything. So the Loop Deck is an insanely powerful tool in live streaming, in uh, post editing and creative software. And it really shines just in simple workspace structure and just creating a bit of a different workflow that makes your life so much easier when you're trying to do all of these things. So as you can see, the Loop Deck Live is an insanely versatile tool that you can customize to your heart's content. There's so much you can do with it on the live streaming side of uh, the equation, but also if you want to do a bit more post-production, if you want to upload some videos to YouTube, if you want to go into Photoshop, it will really make your workflow so much easier, save you a huge amount of time, and just in uh, general be a huge asset to your production levels. With that said, if you guys want to have a few more information about the tool, if you want to look at a couple of additional guides, you can jump to the Loop Deck website and have a look over there. Thank you very much for watching the video today. I'm going to see you next time.